what is up everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody's well hope you're manifesting hope you're using your imagination because it's everything so today i want to jump into something that i felt very confused about for quite some time and this was the best way for me to actually move forward and do that and it's through this right here the silver mind control method and i'll get into that at the end of this so stick around and you'll see it's brilliant very simple but just before that i want to give some background on what i'm talking about in neville goddard's one of his speeches and a lot of the times in his speeches he talks about your sats which is your state akin to sleep and he says that's essentially also what prayer is when you think about what prayer is where basically you closing your eyes and you're going into a very relaxed state of mind, which is essentially a state that is similar to sleep. And what that does is it's easy to impress things on your subconscious mind. Now, to me, from everything I've read, the subconscious mind can be seen as a garden. It doesn't matter what you plant in there, as they say in The Strangest Secret Ever Told. It doesn't matter what you plant in there, good or bad. Um fears or your wants the subconscious mind is going to grow the seed just as well and so that's why it's very important to control what you put into your subconscious mind now what i think of the conscious mind the conscious mind that's you that's your intelligence that's your logic the logical brain so what that does is so what the conscious mind can do is it can block things from going into the subconscious mind and it can also allow things to go into the subconscious mind and what i've realized is that when the conscious mind is asleep or isn't involved it's easier to impress things on your subconscious mind so for instance this is where i feel advertising is so powerful especially when it comes to these big billboards and things so i remember this is a quick story i remember i was traveling on this one highway for, to and fro from work and that's the thing about a highway is it, there's only really the one focus which is the road but on the highway it's packed full of billboards mainly fast food and different types of advertisement and i remember there was a fast food special and about i didn't really pay much attention to it you just kind of look at it and then you look away and you'd paid no thought but it gives you the imagery to impress onto your mind and the price as well. So you kind of know every step that needs to be taken to get it. And they'll even give you the closest uh, outlet to get the food. But anyways, I remember two weeks later, I got me some fast food and I ordered it on an app. And I got the food and I ate it and whatever. And... The next time I was on that road, I looked up and I saw, oh my goodness, that's the exact meal that I got when I ordered fast food that other day. And I didn't even realize that that was what I ordered because that billboard had been impressed onto my subconscious and that seed grew and manifested in my reality. And so that's the reason my conscious mind wasn't really involved <clears throat> i kind of just saw it with my eyes and i didn't put any intellect or logic onto it and so that's what's important when it comes to the state akin to sleep when you're actually doing affirmations and you're actually doing your visualizations and so it's what they always tell you is you get into a relaxed position close your eyes relax your body and let everything fall asleep while you think about what you want when you visualize your scene placing yourself there but for someone who's new this can throw you off because i was there as well when i a couple of years ago when i was into the secret and they would use certain terminology and it doesn't take much to throw someone off who's brand new at these things because it could just be one certain phrase that they don't understand and they don't know how to implement it and then boom 
you know what, this isn't for me, I'm not this type of person, I can't do these things, I'm the victim. So this is where combining information from different sorts of people helps. And the silver mind control method, I would say, is the perfect way to put yourself into that state where you can impress things on your subconscious. I will leave a link to Jose Silva down below, as well as his daughter, Laura, actually walking you through a 33-minute um, session where she teaches you how to do the method. What I'm just going to do in this video is I'm just going to walk you through it quickly and make you understand why it works so well for me. So essentially they use the 3-2-1 method, which is relaxing the body at level 3, relaxing the mind at level 2, and then at level 1, that's when you go into your deep subconscious mind, completely relaxed, and they say you create from your center, and you'll feel it if you really get in tune with it, you'll feel it in your chest, and it'll be like this, like your chest is engorged with love, and it's absolutely incredible, and when you're doing your affirmations and your visualizations, you want to be engaging that feeling so that the two can become one, as Jesus says in the last gospel of Thomas, when the two become one, they shall tell a mountain to move and it shall move. Like That's how powerful it is when you can actually bring the conscious mind and the subconscious together to work as one. So essentially, you close your eyes, lie down. I, you, I lie down, but you can sit in a chair as well. And you're going to say three, three times, right? You're going to say it mentally. And then you're going to visualize the number three. And you're going to do it three times. So it's going to be three, three, three. Obviously, you're going to say it internally. You're not going to say it out loud. Then you're just going to focus on a point. Starting from your the top of your head going all the way down to your feet. And you're going to focus on here. And what you do when you put your attention onto one part of your body. You'll start noticing the feelings and the sensations and the vibrations. And the feeling of the blood flow in that position. And then once you do that for about 30 seconds, you just relax that part of your body and you'll just start moving your way down your scalp, your forehead, your eyes, your face, your throat, the skin on the outside of your throat and your throat on the inside, your chest on the outside, the inside, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your abdominal section, intestines and your actual skin on your stomach and your legs all the way down to your feet and that's level three you're completely relaxed after that because every time you move along the part you just left you go deeper and deeper and deeper until it's like you're floating in your body then you're going to go to level two same thing two 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 in your mind this is for mental relaxation you're going to picture a scene that's tranquil for me it's this hiking trail spot where I would just close my eyes while my eyes are closed already and I would see the sun, the greenery, the forest, the water, the feeling of the rock I'm sitting on, the sun beating on my skin, the smell of the, the grass and the, just the fresh nature. And that will place you within that reality and your mind will become relaxed. From there, you've got level one. So level two is very quick. You just, once you engage in that scene and all your senses boom you're back into number one same thing one 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 and here you're going to count down in the beginning they tell you 100 to one then it's 50 to one as you get better and then 25 to one and then tw 10 to one and it'll just take 10 counts to get you to that same feeling of your chest and then once you're there, you're completely relaxed and your conscious mind is not involved. And that's what's important. And that's the best time to say your affirmations that you have and to visualize that target image where you completely put yourself in that scene, the state akin to sleep and drift off to sleep. Best times to do this is, especially in the beginning, is morning, lunch, 
and before bed. And the reason why is because when you wake up, your subconscious is very absorbent. And at lunch, you become fatigued and tired. Perfect time as well because the conscious mind kind of steps aside. And then obviously before bed because you're feeling sleepy. So you'll notice that it's always a state akin to sleep. It's always when you your conscious mind can't get involved and tell you, oh, you can't do this and that and the other. It's kind of pushed to the side. And that is the best time to do it. This has helped me tremendously. Like I said, I will leave everything in the comments below because it's better for you to actually go and listen and watch these videos yourself and figure it out on your own. I'm just simply telling you what works for me and and that's it. So if you really want to get into this, this is how you're going to do it. Anyways, that's just a video for me today. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share it with whoever wants to see this. And if you want more videos like this, because I will keep continuing them, subscribe for more. Here's some of my old videos. One there, there. Subscribe over there. I'm out. Peace.